Ons het ook gaan inloer by WS Piano se splinter nieuwe werkswinkel in Pretoria. Hi, I'm Naomi Stolze, CEO of WS Pianos. Unfortunately, Vanna could not be here today. He's currently out of the province, attending to pianos in other provinces. However, I'm going to take you for a tour through our workshop so that you can see the magnificent legacy that our family has and also the amazing employees we have that dedicate their time to work on your pianos when your piano is in our workshop. You'll also see the different finishes of pianos that we have available and um, the craftsmanship that goes into what we do. So let's go for a nice walk and a tour so that you can see what we do. So here we have a lineup of the pianos that's going into the final stages of the piano repairs and the piano restoration. Behind you guys, we'll show you in a little bit, is a lineup of all the grand pianos that must still come into this flow for the final work. We're going to continue downwards, but I'm going to show you all the different work and the finishes of the grand pianos. So let's go. This piano is a matte finish. She still has some work, she's not completed yet, not even close. You can see there's still marks on it, so she's not approved to go out of the workshop. Then we go to this one, she's finished in a high gloss. She was brown previously, a walnut piano. However, with the amount of water damage she had, all the veneer started lifting. So she was fully resparied in a high gloss. She's quite dusty, workshop is very dusty. Um, but she's now a beautiful high gloss. And then also the piano action, everything's done. The keys must still be bleached a bit. Because it's ivory, we bleach the keys and we use UV light or direct sunlight to assist us with that. This one is finished in a satin finish. Now she's ready for delivery. If you can see, there's a blue mark on it, meaning ready for delivery. This is once the workshop has approved the delivery. Before this continues, then Van and myself will still do the final checks before we send it out. And then we double check that all the dots, everything is on correctly. The name is correct. So this one will not be approved to go out because the keys doesn't look great. And here we come to Desmond. So Desmond is busy. If we look at the job card, he's busy with uh, Valdemann Grand Piano. And he's going to explain to you what he's doing. He's so just a bit of background about Desmond. Desmond does most of our grand pianos, and he recently went on tour with myself and uh, Andre Swartz and Kuni de Villiers that we traveled through South Africa and the Western Cape, and that we offloaded pianos at different places. And he made sure to tune them. Some of the tunings was quite intense because we have very limited time to tune before a concert. So he's going to explain to you what he does to this piano. Hi, uh, I'm currently uh, working on this piano. This is my job card here. I'm going to check what needs to be done according to the quotation of the piano. Then I'll do that. But on my uh, on my period of working on this piano, I'm going to check if there if there is anything else that needs to be done, so that I'll just do everything else. Like for example. The keys, the keys were not 100% when I was bleaching the keys. Because now the job got the same bleach, uh, bleach and polish. But some of them were cracked, some of them were, were chipped. So I had to change them. The keys were done, they are 100% uh, shiny and they are polished. And here yeah, I'm doing the regulation. I'm almost done, then after that I'm going to tune the piano. As you can see I, put, I already put my felt in for tuning, so I'm going to tune the piano and then after that I'm going to clean and do everything and make sure that the piano is 100%. Thank you so much. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take the piano action out for you so that you can see how it looks when your grand piano action is taken out. Different grand pianos work differently. Some you need to loosen the screws at the bottom. Some that's not required. Please don't do this by yourself at home. You can damage your piano.
just as an interesting fact, so this piano is a Fritz Poulain. But what we're going to do with her, we're going to make her stalls of green. So it's like turquoise color towards a blue color. So it's not really turquoise, but it's not really blue. These specific Pantone references that we're gonna make her that color with gold trimmings at the front. So she will be one of the pianos that will go out to shows and events that's required. So let's proceed to the next gun. So all the pianos you see here is pianos that we have to restore for clients. When the piano, so piano is issued with a job card, if it has a pin card as well, it means it's being restored internally and externally. If it doesn't have a pin card, it means we're not painting the exterior. If it has that green card, recycle, that means that the full piano is being recycled. Some parts can be reused for something else in, the, in, the, uh, in other pianos, or some people use the cabinet for water features, so we do different things with the piano cabinets then. Um, but we really see where it takes us once we start with that piano. So now we're going over to Solomon. Solomon is also our transport coordinator and um, he's also a train, he's trained or he's part of the apprentice program, the WS Pianos office, to start learning how to do piano restorations. So Solomon, tell us what you are doing. Okay, so here uh, I'm doing what we call refacing of the hammers. When uh, the piano is being played, uh, the strings goes deeper into the hammers, so we have to to reface them so that they can become evenly, uh, so that they will they will make uh, the sound that is being needed by the player. And Solomon, what is all of this? What are you doing here? Okay, yeah, it's it's like a, it's a project of a, a piano how it stands, the outside and the inside. So now this one, they want to, uh, I've been instructed to do this by, the, by Mr. Verna because he said he wanted to give this to the school so that they know how the, how the piano looks. Because if they are playing, they, if they don't even know what is inside. So as it is like this, they will be knowing what, how it looks like uh, when, it, when they are playing. So it's a sort of a, a project that okay. I am doing. Yeah. So this is what he basically did. He took the action of a piano, several ones was cut up so that he could create the ideal to show you how each hammer hit, how everything connects once you press a key, how everything moves, the reaction time, how your damper comes down. So all the moving parts, what he mentioned before he does the hammer refacing, all these little screws. Now piano has quite a lot. Each. If you just look at one specific key, you can count several screws and stuff that must be tightened here. And that's what he does before he starts with hammer refacing. Now we're coming over to Andrew, and we're going to look what Andrew's doing. And Andrew's also a workshop manager. He's been with us for quite a while. Andrew's father was also in the piano industry, so he's continu continuing with also family legacy, which we are very proud of, and hopefully one day his three sons will also join us. So Andrew, tell us what you are busy doing. You look very flat on the ground right now. Hello. I'm busy doing what you call uh, key leveling. Key leveling is part of regulation. Right, we are now over at Pilar. So Pilar is our newest apprentice that joined our team. Um, he is most, he's gonna focus on all the different aspects of um, piano restoration, but we want him to end at being a piano tuner. Now, there's quite a few things that's required to become a piano tuner. The most important thing is that his ears isn't damaged. Now, what I mean by that is, in today's age, so many young people and people even of 10 years ago use a lot of headphones, severely loud music, and that damages your ears. His ear 
for ears is really immaculate so he's ideal to become a piano tuner now we must just make sure that his discipline is there and what we have found in the last few months he definitely has the discipline so what he's doing today he's not tuning he's not there yet he still has several years before he can get to tuning but he's busy learning the different sounds so he's busy with pitch raising so this is just a practice piano this is not an official piano that's going to a customer it's not a customer piano we're working on um, so Pilar show us what you do So where is working now, there's three strings that connects to one key. So when you look at that, so he first starts just with one string, then with the second one, then with the third one, to continue tuning the exact same key. Now we are at the tuning room. It's a bit more si silent and more condensed sound. So KG does the final tunings for the upright pianos. He also attends to most of our university tunings when piano is not available, and also to some of our theatre tunings. So, currently in the room, we have, as you can see, we have three pianos in here. This is also a piano that was fully restored. Now, this one was quite a task. The client brought it to us literally in pieces. When I say in pieces, the hammerheads was in one box, the keys were scattered into different boxes, strings non-existent, the piano parts, some parts he's tried to sand down himself, tried to paint himself. So we did the full restoration of this piano. We did what the client tried to do. So the piano is already ready for delivery and it's a Feurig piano that the client tried to do himself. All right, this is KG. So his actual name is Kitty Borny. The nickname KG is something that we used internally. He's very tall and he's absolutely wonderful in what he does. So KG, tell us a bit about yourself and about what you are doing. Uh, well, um, I do final uh, piano tunings for uprights and um, regulations here and there. Um, at the moment, I'm um, raising this one to pitch. It was uh, way below pitch. I'm raising it to pitch and also it's got some loose tuning pins. So as I'm raising uh, it to pitch, uh, I'm also replacing tuning pins which are, which are a bit loose. Right, now we are in our spray booth. So here in our spray booth, we are with Hendrik. Hendrik does our spraying of the pianos. And as you can see, the preparation of this piano is done. So this piano went through a very bad fire that unfortunately the homeowners lost most of their belongings. So we are busy restoring this piano for them. And yeah, Hendrik, tell us what you've done. Um, uh, here I am busy with the preparation. I put the prema, first coat prema, and then now I'm closing the holes and then the tracks. So then I will put another second coat for prema. And this piano is going black, high close black. So I think it's going to be good. <laughs> so um, when he says high gloss black, that is the shiny pianos that you usually see, um, that you see on concert stages. There is now several concert stages that started going to Saturn because the high glass reflects very badly from the stage lights. So some people started going to Saturn, however this one's going to a private home. So he's going to show you what we do now. Right, here we are with Philemon. We are going to go over to Afrikaans because Philemon is Afrikaans speaking gentleman. 
So, and then he can explain to you what we're doing. Hello, Philemon. Yeah. So, Philemon, you is now 67 years old. And you will not retire, you will not work. Yeah. But the is is in your in your blood. Yeah. So Philemon, tell us what you have here to Want hierdie klavier was baie complicated. Hierdie gedeelte was weg, nee, van die vier. Ja, ja, hierdie stik hierdie het gebrand van die koud. Toen die nieuwe stik opgesit, het het mooi gebok. So what he's saying, I'm just going to translate to English. So this entire pot was burned away by the fire. So that's the same one that Hendrik is working on the body in there. So Philemon had to rebuild this part and then put them together and now he needs to even them out so that when we do the final coat that you won't see the line. Wonderlijk, bye, thank you, Philemon. Here we are with Jan. So, Jan does several different things. He recently did a piano in choco paint for Jacht de Priester as well, different color blocks and stuff. But what he's doing now, he's busy with the reupholstery of piano benches. That is something he's really exceptional in. So Jan, tell us what you were busy with. This was um, fabric, so I changed it to the leather. The seat was broken, so I put a new foam and I also put the new sponge in. This is the bench I'm doing now. Nice. And this one is my stapler that I'm using when I'm stapling these things. This one is a trimming strip. It's the one I'm using the for a soil. When you, you know, like, when you don't have to see the stick where I stick with before. Oh, so that's actually, it does, the only function it has is to hide it's the for, staples. Yes, it's So it looks better. Yes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm. So, also, Jan, that Philemon that you met earlier that speaks of the clients, so this is his son who only speaks English, and then his brother is. Hendrik that you made that was busy spraying the piano. So yeah, wonderful. Again, a family legacy working with our family. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for our workshop tour. Next time we'll do our new showroom tour. This is the team that's going to prepare your piano. Bring the challenge and we'll get your piano ready for you.